So Debbie, it's been quite a busy week for you. Uh, what's you know? I think the first thing we ought to talk about is it's all about the money. Show me the money. Absolutely, and the club should be seeing it. Um, as you know, we applied for a twenty-five thousand dollar disaster grant. We had actually thirty-three clubs request a grant, a one thousand dollar grant per club. We found funding for all thirty-three thousand, and those checks should not only be in the mail, but they should be in the hands of the treasurers or the club presidents. So they should be putting that money in the field. Cool. And I, I really like that we've really gotten into the community and, and this is such a great way to reach out and, and touch, if you will, in these times of social distancing and, and quarantining. Right. And I think the other thing that you're doing is you've, got, you've heard some feedback on, from the clubs on programming. Indeed, a number of the clubs, as they're talking about what they're going to be doing with this $1,000, have been mentioning a lot about community projects, community cleanup projects. Um, rarely do we hear a number of clubs doing the same thing, but this week we've been hearing that with the relaxing of the restrictions to the forest preserves and with the weather breaking, although today it's not so nice, um, but people are outside more, so they're walking and they're looking at their surrounding areas and deciding that they need a bit of cleaning up. So we have a number of our clubs that have partnered with their members to get out to the community and clean up the villages in which they live. Oh, it is so good. Yeah. And, and I think you also found that, that a lot of the clubs are using Zoom. They are. They are. We're about 85% there, which is incredible. But one of the things we're starting to talk about is what happens to Zoom once we get back together. Now we know that we're finding with Zoom that folks that couldn't make a regular meeting have, have come back. We have snowbirds that were enjoying warmer weather um, and haven't been able to get home yet are joining into their clubs via Zoom. So that's extraordinary. We know that Zoom also allows us to invite people to lunch or breakfast or an evening meeting that may not have come because of the cost of those meals. So there's lots of opportunities for new membership. But we're wondering, you know, Zoom isn't going to go away once our, our clubs get together. And you were filling me in on some amazing technology and different ideas that members could use once their meetings get held back um, in person. Can you well, share yeah. that? Well, they, they may want to start now practicing uh, how to take their Zoom meeting. They've recorded it, put it up on Facebook, uh, use it as a link. You know, to, if they're talking, for example, here in uh, uh, Naperville, talking with pads and how they can help them uh, uh, raise money or uh, get uh, food uh, for those homeless folks. Well, we're doing that. Well, pads would come and give us a report. Let's take that report and, and connect with it or put it up on YouTube or uh, Facebook. Let's start doing that now so that when this is over, sometime hopefully in June, they may want to convert those instead of just doing a Zoom meeting and, and tape recording it like we're doing now, right. uh, but also share it uh, and expand the audience of who sees it. Uh, I think that'll be a good thing. So I think they can get into that uh, now. The right. second thing I'd, I'd recommend is, is that people start looking at uh, getting lighting. They've got to worry about uh, either natural lighting, which works, uh, or something like what I'm doing right now, which is a $50 light uh, that will highlight, make it clearer, uh, and they it just looks better, I think, as we go forward. Uh, you know, are we learning that there is a direct connection between Zoom and public image. Look at what it's allowing us to do. And then we can carry these, we can record the meetings. So if I didn't get to join you for lunch, I can look at it later. Um, I can post all of these meetings to Facebook or other social media sites. So this is gonna let our message get out to a much wider audience in ways that we maybe have not gotten to before. So it'll, it'll be interesting in the days ahead, but I think we need to, as you said, start looking for those cameras or that lighting now, uh, because we know it's gonna take three or four weeks to acquire it. 
So let's get those orders out there now. And uh, by the time we get back to meeting in person, um, you'll have all the equipment that you need. Well, and, and finally, the, the equipment you need is uh, the third part of that is just using your iPhone uh, mm -hmm. or using your um, uh, Android. It's got a camera on it. There you go. And just use that little sucker and it's easy to click on it and go to uh, social media. Absolutely. You know, and the other thing, just as a reminder, we did make an offer to all the clubs in the district that we would reimburse you for the cost of a Zoom membership. So now some folks have opted for the free um, offer that Zoom has. We think that's great. We appreciate you trying to save us money. But we are hearing that after 30 minutes, those free meetings are disconnected. So be sure that you have the technology for your traditional meetings. So if it means going out and getting the Zoom um, uh, package, please do, don't be afraid to spend the money. We have it reserved, um, we wanna let you. And thus far, I believe about a dozen clubs have done it, but that means there's 48 out there that have not. So please take us up on the offer. Which leads to, uh, well, we've got to get these meetings, but uh, from a district level, boy, have we got a full calendar. Of well, we do, um, but you know, that's, while everyone else might be sitting back with their feet up and getting a suntan, we've been working to keep our district Rotarians um, engaged and involved. Um, so first of all, we we're back with happy hours. We did establish district happy hours for the month of April. Since we're gonna be closed up for the month of May, um, the, the people playing and participating have said, let's keep it going. So this week, we're going to have uh, Joanne Ragona will be our hostess for the evening. And we're gonna play something called Pokino, which is a playing card version of bingo. And you know, we give away amazing prizes, Hunter. So no one's not going to want to be there. So 5.30 every Friday in May, we'll be having events. Um, we've got some president-elect president competitions. Um, we have something about uh, who is that masked person. Um, some really fun things planned. So please join us and invite your family. And uh, even non-Rotarians can play. Well, and then you've got the return of the Rotary Broadcast Center. Correct. The uh, first week in May, I think. Right. The first Monday in May. So May 4th, we are going to reintroduce the Rotary Broadcast Center for a program on supporting small businesses. We have heard repeatedly from our club presidents that a number of the members of the district are small business owners or entrepreneurs, and they're being especially hard hit at this time. So we are gathering the experts in support of small businesses. We will present them as a panel to the district on Monday, March 4th, I'm sorry, May 4th at 6 p.m. on the Rotary Broadcast Center. So you can go to the district website to find the link to gain access to the, uh, the discussion. Well, and then one of the bigger uh, calendar uh, events is towards the end of May. I, I think it's right. called the annual meeting. It is. Now, traditionally, the annual meeting has been held in conjunction with the district conference, or this year, the big bodacious celebration, which should have been taking place as we speak. We should be in day two of that event, but obviously circumstances have prevented that. But Rotary International does still require that we host an annual meeting, something to conduct the business of the district. So we have that set for Saturday, May 30th at 9 a.m. Um, a packet of information will be sent out to every Rotarian this Tuesday. So be sure to look for that information and we'll talk about it more in the weeks ahead. Well, and then uh, I think as the fun continues, you uh, wanna do something about, here, let me see, I, I can, can tell you where I would start. It's something about, a mask competition? Well, right. Now, you know, we're, um, we're supposed to be wearing masks um, as we walk out into the world, um, as we do our daily business. And so as Rotarians, we felt an obligation to do something about that. 
So I am proposing a district-wide mask competition. Every week um, during happy hour, we will judge that week's best entries into a mask decorating competition. So whatever, whether you wanna use the mask like you have, Hunter, the surgical mask, an N95, a dust mask, we don't care. But what we would do is challenge you to make it look more interesting. For example, I'm weighing the possibility of putting M&Ms on my mask, <laughs> and that seems to be a really bad use of something as good as an M&M. So you can paint them, you could put your company logo on them, you can put a message on them, you could put feathers, glitters, a glitter rhinestone, whatever you like. But every Friday, we will ask folks to come to happy hour with their favorite mask. We will judge a winner of each Friday. They will receive a $25 gift card. And then all of those winners will be presented to the uh, district membership at the annual meeting for a uh, grand finale, judging for the very best mask in the district so that you will have uh, bragging rights for hopefully the rest of our lives. Um, a special award mask will be presented the winner. And of course, um, I thought a oh, $100 gift card would probably be nice too. Oh, that sounds like fun. And then maybe to wrap this up though, you've got, you, you wanna definitely highlight our, our uh, uh, district ministries that we've got coming up. Right. So two important things happened in the last few days. One is um, that we brought in a new administrative team. And the other we don't want to forget about is the rebates. We did put $25 per member back to every club. Someone asked me how that was going. Uh, I thought it important to mention that that totaled $43,100 that the district put back into the hands of the clubs. So I think that's important. And to administer that, we use our district office. Um, currently, our district administrator, as we all know, is Dave Phelps, um, who owns Effectus. And we have Nancy Phelps and Nancy Ashburn working with Dave. But as of um, April 21st, we did sign a new contract with a company called Chicago Association Management and Ed Gra Graziano and his team. So we thought it might be nice to have everyone in the district meet them. They obviously can't do that in person. So when you look at this video on the district website, you will see below it a link to Ed and his team at CAM. So take a moment to introduce, to look at them, get acquainted with who they are and the role they're gonna play for us. And then as we have meetings uh, moving ahead, we'll introduce you to them whenever the opportunity um, presents itself. Super. So mm -hmm. I guess that it's a pretty full week, I would say. Always. Um, we're not going to, this is not a time for an opportunity for us to rise and show what Rotarians can do. So we're not going to sit back and um, read a good book. We're going to get into action. And as you know, I always end these kinds of conversations by saying thank you. Thank you to the people that um, make up our district for the work that they're doing in their clubs and in their communities. Please remember to be safe, protect yourself out there, wear the masks. It is not the most fashionable um, a bit of attire, but it's necessary right now. But also remember, please, the members of your club. If you haven't talked to them in a while, give them a call, drop them a line, um, send them an email. But let's remember as we're working to connect with others, we, we don't want to forget those members of the clubs that maybe we haven't seen for a while. So let's just keep, um, keep together, keep connected, and keep doing the good things that Rotarians do. Well, thank you for the uh, recap. You're Look welcome. forward to talking next week. Absolutely. Have a good week, Hunter. Thank you. Thank you.